Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're doing another video in our How to Edit Like series. Uh, you guys seem to be really enjoying these videos so we're just going to keep them going. Um, if you have any other video ideas do let us know. But for today we're doing a How to Edit Like Sam Calder. Now we have done one of these in the past however there were two problems with that. One it's kind of outdated now and two um, that photo uh, that we used is kind of less in the style of Sam Calder. So what I've done is I've gone online and I've found a photo um, that I think will fit with Sam Calder's feed a little bit more than the photos we took. Um, so this is the photo here, and we're going to be editing it in style of this, with those teal and oranges, the greens are very desaturated, almost blue. Um, this is his kind of semi-old to new style. Um, he's kind of switching between a few styles at the moment. So we're going to be going for this photo, mainly because it fits with our photo the best. So before we do start this video, it'd be great if you could go check me out on Instagram. I'm Sebastian underscore JWB. My link will be uh, in the description, and also my brother, um, who's Matthew underscore GKB. So go check us out, that'll be absolutely awesome if you could drop us a follow over there. Let's get started with today's tutorial. So we're going to come up here, come to the basic slider in Lightroom, and we are going to increase the exposure just until the image is at a sort of brightness that we think is acceptable. Um, and then I'm going to come down to Shadows, increase the shadows ever so slightly just to bring out some of the detail, uh, increase the highlights just because I like those highlights to be really bright, it kind of lights up the center of the image. Um, I'm going to get the whites, increase the whites, and decrease the blacks. In lots of Sam Calder's photos, his blacks are really, really crushed. He really crushes his blacks. So you can see here, his blacks are really dark um, in his photo. So we're going to do the same thing by dropping the blacks almost down to minus 100. In this case, we're on minus 60. Um, and then we're going to get the contrast, and we're going to drag the contrast up as well. And now, actually, I'm just going to increase the shadows a little bit more, just so we can see a little bit more detail get the clarity slider and we're going to drag the clarity down to about minus 20. Okay, so that's it for the basic slider. Um, I'm now going to move on to the camera calibration slider. Now, camera calibration is one of those things that people tend to leave out of their color grades. However, if you're trying to go for a teal and orange color grade, um, like Sam Calder, it has a very specific style. Um, and it's kind of hard to achieve without using the camera calibration. Now, there are a few things you can do. Um, today's tutorial, we're going to get the red primary, we're going to drag that all the way up and we're going to get the blue primary and drag it all the way down. Um, you can see this has a dramatic change to the photo. Um, what it's done is it's made those greens in the photos really orange and made the blues uh, a slightly tealy kind of colour. Now if you look further back down Sam Calder's feed, um, his photos tend to be a lot more vibrant like this. Um, in this photo, however, the blues and the greens are slightly more desaturated. The issue we're going to have is this photo was taken around the time that the leaves were slightly kind of yellow. You can see up here, I mean, I'm slightly colorblind, so I'm, I'm, they look yellowy brown. Um, so the problem we're going to have is kind of making those greens up there really kind of vibrant and then desaturating those. So we are going to have to do the best that we can. Um, so we're going to close up the camera, actually no we're not, we can get the red primary saturation, drop that down to minus 30, and drop the blue down to about minus 30 as well, just because I don't like it to be too vibrant. Uh, in the HSL slider, we're going to firstly come down to luminance, and I want to brighten up this image a little bit more. I'm going to get the greens, drag those all the way up, the yellows, drag those all the way up, the oranges, increase the oranges and increase the reds, come down to the blues and brighten those up as well also the aquas, and then just leave the purple and the magenta alone. Uh, coming to saturation, I'm going to get the greens, and I'm going to completely saturate the greens, and I'm going to drop the saturation in the yellows to about minus 60, and then on the oranges, I'm also going to drop those to probably about minus 20 in this case. We want to make sure the orange is still visible, but we want to make sure that it's not overly ridiculous. So you can see, if you look at his skin color here, that's the orange that we're going for. So we're kind of getting there with the colors. Um, as for the red saturation, probably going to increase the red slightly and then decrease the orange again just a little bit more. Okay, coming up to hues, um, we're going to get blues and if you slide the blues to the right you see it makes them more purple and if you slide it to the left it makes it more green. So we're going to slide the blues a little bit to the left and get the aquas, counteract that by sliding the aquas all the way to the right. Alternatively you can drag the aquas down to the left and increase the blues to the right. Um, it kind of just a matter of personal preference. I think I might actually go that way myself. Okay, as for the hues uh, with the reds, we're going to drag the reds down a little bit, uh, the oranges also down a tiny bit, and then get the yellows, yeah, drag the yellows down as well, probably to about minus 25. Okay, so I think we're probably almost done. Um, I'm going to try and increase the saturation in the aquas and then drop the saturation in the blues. So that's if the HSL slider. Now if I press the backslash key, we can see the before photo and now the after photo. Um, we're getting a kind of nice look going on here. One thing I am noticing is it's there's not a lot 
of colours. This is very everything other than the trees down here are very very black and grey, and um, there's not much going on. So what we're going to try and do is come onto the brush tool, and we're going to paint the water here just a little bit with a brush all over. Um, you won't be able to see any difference here because it's not actually affecting the image just yet. Then we're going to get the temperature, and we're going to just probably drop that down. We're going to say minus five. Um, just to kind of make the water slightly more blue as uh, you can see here if I put minus 50 the difference that's going to make so we can kind of see where we've painted uh, maybe paint on a little bit more. We're going to get the tint and we're also going to drag that up a little bit so what we've done there is just add a little bit more color into the water. Secondly we want to make sure that this woman here is slightly less pasty white um, and we're going to try and orange her up a little bit so we're going to get the temperature drag that up to plus 23 and then we're just going to paint over her skin here and here like this. It probably helps zooming in to be fair. Okay so there we go, um, actually I might increase the oranges probably to about 35, see what effect that has on the image. Okay so I think that's kind of a nice look we've got going on now. If I press the before photo, that's what it looked like before and that's what it looks like afterwards. I don't think there's a lot more we can do with this photo. Um, one thing I do recommend is coming down to split toning and we're going to try and we're going to increase the saturation to about plus 7 plus 10 um, and the idea is here we're going to introduce a color into the highlights and a color into the shadows now usually if you press alt on your keyboard you can see what colors you're selecting but usually you want to go for a, a teal or an orange color in the highlights and a teal or orange color in the shadows i think we're going to try just to start off with a blue in the highlights so drag it to 215 in this case um, and we're going to increase the saturation up to about plus 10. Plus 20 is kind of all right, maybe 15 I think, just kind of because I've been looking at this image for a while. Um, and then we're going to get the shadows and we're going to just press Alt on our keyboard, drag it up until it's sort of orange and leave it on 23 and put the saturation on about plus 10. Okay, now if I turn this off, you're not really going to see a lot of difference, but it does, you can see if you look at the highlights, they do make them a little bit more blue. So it kind of gives the image a little bit more life. If you come down to lens corrections now and click on enable profile corrections and remove chromatic aberrations, the plan is it sort of whitens up the corners of the images and makes the image sort of a little bit less warped. Um, so it's one thing that I wish I knew when I started using Lightroom right off the bat when I first started. Um, it doesn't work with all photos, sometimes it makes them too bright, but in this case it's kind of all right if I turn the lens corrections off. Uh, I think I've now made the highlights a bit too bright, so I'm going to now drop the highlights down probably to about 50. Okay, so I think we're basically done with the image. One thing I am going to do is come onto the gradient tool, uh, and I'm just going to drag it from this corner. I really don't like the browns going on in this bottom right, so I'm going to drag it up. Uh, I'm going to reset it by double-clicking effect. In fact, I may even drop the temperature to about minus 5, and then I'm just going to desaturate uh, it and lower the exposure. So I'm just going to drop the exposure here, make it a little bit more blue, minus 15 maybe. Okay, I think we're probably done today now with that image. I don't think there's really a lot more we can do with it. The problem with this image to start off with is it was quite dark, but I think we've kind of managed to bring it back to life a little bit. I think that's kind of nice, especially if you zoom out, um, it does look quite nice. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was useful. Um, Go ahead, copy what we've done in this video for your photos and let me know what you guys think. Um, if, if you enjoyed this video, it'd be great if you could smash the thumbs up, go check us out on Instagram. And like I said at the beginning, our uh, presets for this are available on our website if you are interested. Uh, there will be a discount code probably down below in the description if you want to go buy it. Um, if not, we'll see you in the next video. Live long and prosper.